welcome to another Rock and More production. This is a flipped math video about polygons. Our objectives for this video are as follows. Number one, you will be able to identify figures as polygons or non-polygons. Number two, you will be able to name polygons based on how many sides they have. And three, you will be able to count the number of sides, angles, vertices, and pairs of parallel sides a polygon has. Let's start with the definition of a polygon. There are really four components of the definition of a polygon. The first is that polygons are two-dimensional or 2D. Another way of saying that is that they are flat. They're not three-dimensional figures. Polygons are also closed figures, and there's no crossing. These two might not make a lot of sense right now, but when we look at some examples, I think you'll see what I mean right away. The third thing is that they have three or more sides. It's really impossible for a polygon to have um, less than three sides. And then finally, the sides are straight. There are no curves in a polygon. Now let's take a look at some examples that will really um, illustrate what I'm trying to say here. All right, so we've got a number of figures here, and um, I'm going to be using that word figure a lot. That really just means a picture or a drawing. It's something. This square is a figure. Uh, the, this heart is a figure. So just a word we use in geometry to say whatever the object is that we're looking at. So I have our def definition up here, or the, excuse me, the four parts of our definition over here in the corner, and we should just apply those to all of these shapes. So let's take a look at this square. Is the square two-dimensional? Yes, it only ha it's flat, in other words. It does not have a third dimension. Uh, it's closed. There's no openings in it. Three or more sides. I count one, two, three, four sides. And it has straight sides, no curves. So we can circle this as a polygon. And actually, let's use green. That is a polygon. Let's take a look at this half circle here, or half oval. Um, Two-dimensional? Yep, it's flat. Closed? I don't see any openings in it. Three or more sides? Well, now things are getting tricky. I could call this a side, and I guess we'll call this curved side a side, but that's only two sides. Also, it doesn't follow the straight sides, no curves rule. So this, this is not a polygon. And if this isn't a polygon, then this circle definitely is not a polygon. It has only one side, and it has lots of curves. Let's take a look at this guy. Looks a little funky, not like any shape I, we probably talked about before, but let's send it through our um, test here. Two-dimensional? Yep, it's flat. Closed? I don't see any openings in it. Three or more sides? One, two, three, four, five, six sides. Straight sides, no curves. So it looks a little funky, but it is a polygon. All right. Let's take a look at this one. Two-dimensional, closed, three or more sides. I say yes to all of those. Straight sides, no curves. So yes, this is a polygon. Now I'm going to pause right here, and I want you to look at the last four shapes and decide for yourself whether they are polygons or not. All right, so you've had a little time to look, and I'm going to say... I'm going to circle the ones that are polygons, and there's really only one. This star is a polygon, but these other shapes are not. This one has some crossing in it, so it's really two polygons stuck together. This one's got an opening in it, a gap, so it's not a polygon. And this one is all curves. Uh, in February, it's not a good idea to be crossing out a heart, but I'll do it anyway. Here we have polygons that have three sides all the way through ten sides. 
And I'm gonna stop the video here, and I'm gonna have you, or I'm gonna have you pause the video, and I want you to name as many of these polygons as you can. I wrote a bunch of names at the bottom, and I want to see which ones you can name right now. So I'll, I'll pause, or why don't you pause right now and do that? All right, so now I'm going to drag the names up, and you can check for yourself. Triangle. You probably were thinking of this as a square, uh, which it is, but a square is a kind of quadrilateral, and in our next lesson, you'll learn more about those quadrilater quadrilaterals, <laughs> including how to say them. This five-sided figure is a pentagon. The six-sided figure is a hexagon. The seven-sided figure is a heptagon. An eight-sided figure is an octagon. Nine-sided figure is a nonagon. And a ten-sided figure is a decagon. So what you'll notice is, except for the quadrilateral and the triangle, all of them have gone on the end, and they have a some kind of word at the beginning and penta means five five-sided shape hexa means six hepta seven oct eight non nine and deca ten and those root words are things you're just gonna have to memorize a few of them have ways to help you remember them like nonagon starts with n like nine but the rest of them don't have a lot of good tricks and you have to start kind of figuring out either tricks for yourself or just memorizing them so we've gone through two of the goals uh, the first one is that you'll be able to identify what is and what isn't a polygon and the second one is that you'll be able to name polygons based on their sides. Now we're on to that third one, which is being able to count the number of vertices, sides, uh, angles, vertices, and parallel sides. So just a quick explanation. Vertices are where any two sides come together. So where these two sides come together at this point, that's a vertice. This triangle has three of them. And then sides, those are those flat parts that you've probably been identifying for quite some time now as a fifth grader. So this triangle has, whoa, three of them. So in these next slides, I'm going to give you a figure. And I want you to, I'm going to have you pause the video and put in these different things. Make sure you can find them. And we might even start looking for a pattern with them. So go ahead and pause the video right now and fill out the sides, angles, vertices, and pairs of parallel sides. All right. So this is a triangle again, so it has three sides. How many angles does it have? Here's an angle. Here's an angle. There's an angle. So it's got three angles. Vertices, one, two, three of those. Ooh, each three is a little bit different. And pairs of parallel sides. I don't see any parallel sides here. Just a reminder, parallel sides would be sides that would run next to each other like train tracks and never touch. But these, all of these sides touch each other. So parallel sides here is zero. Let's move on to another figure. Right, so here is another one. Pause the video now and fill out these numbers. Okay, so this is a pentagon. So it has five sides. How many angles does it have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five angles. Whoa! Can't let that go. We'll have to. Here's another five. And how many vertices? Well, you might be catching on to a little pattern here. There's one, two, three, four, five vertices. 
and we've talked about vertices before, so you know that vertice, every angle does have a vertice, so it makes sense that there are five angles and five vertices. But again, parallel sides here, there are no pairs of sides that if you kept going, they wouldn't run into each other. I mean, these two, this one here and this one, kind of look like they are, but if we were to extend them straight out, they would eventually touch somewhere out here. So again, we've got zero pairs of parallel sides. Let's do one more here. So pause the video. Fill this out. All right. This is an octagon. So it has eight sides. It has eight angles. Eight vertices. Whoa, eight vertices. But what's interesting here is we do have pairs of parallel sides. This side and this side are parallel. This side and this side are parallel. This side and this side. Whoop, we'll draw three lines here. And this side are parallel. And these two sides are parallel. So we actually here have four pairs of parallel sides. And what I want you to notice here is that shapes or polygons that have an even number of sides have parallel sides, and polygons that have odd numbers of sides do not. That's the end of the video. I went a little long, so I apologize. Make sure that you pause, go back, rewind, do anything you need to do to understand and to make sure that you have met these goals. See you next time.